Hey everybody, how's it going? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Wednesday, April 17th, 2019. Got a free pick in the NBA coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, cool way to do it, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com or any other handicapper for that matter on the website. Again, uh, all you got to do, $60 free account, click on the link below the video to get set up and start that trial run. A real good night for us last night. Uh, we won in Major League Baseball, an easy winner with the Astros. That was our only play last night. Uh, now hitting at a 65% winning clip with the last 15 plays and uh, producing real nice profits for those wagering just $100 per unit also on top of that. NBA, we continue to hit and be hot. Uh, 2-0 last night, including a seven-unit main event winner on the Raptors. They won easily by 29 points. We're 3-0 this week in the NBA playoffs. We hit the six-unit on Monday night with the 76ers in blowout fashion. So uh, seeing it real well right now in the NBA. 22-8 uh, last 30 plays, 73% run in the NBA, up over $4,700 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Uh, as I mentioned, 3-0 this week going into Wednesday's card, and I've got a big six-unit slam dunk play going on Wednesday. We look to make it 3-0 this week with top-level plays, 4-0 this week overall in the NBA, and uh, take that run that we've had over $5,000 to uh, for $100 per unit players. So uh, be sure to get that uh, early daytime action, not daytime action, but it'll be posted in the daytime over at DocSports.com, our NBA six-unit main event. We look to go to 4-0 this week. 23-8 and eight with the last 31 NBA plays. As far as baseball is concerned, as I mentioned, we won last night. Just one play yesterday for us, but we won easily with the Houston Astros. I've got my first seven-unit play of the Major League Baseball season going on Wednesday. First one of the season. It'll be available on Wednesday morning anytime after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time on a nice run on the diamond. And again, it is our first seven-unit play, and we normally don't play a ton of these First couple of weeks of the season, we like to get a few pitchers with a few games under their belt. That's what we've got. And uh, now we fire away with the big seven-unit baseball play. We're on a 57 and 38 long-term run with our last 95 baseball plays. Don't miss out on this one. Big seven-unit main event going on Wednesday slate on the diamond. As far as the NHL is concerned, went to the Vegas Golden Knights game last night. And we got that series play that we gave you last week before the series got going with Vegas uh, to uh, knock off the San Jose Sharks. And after that first game, they were looking a little bit sluggish. But as we said, if Vegas is playing their best and healthy, and San Jose is healthy, playing their best, San Jose can't beat this team in a seven-game series. And uh, we've now seen Vegas for the last three games put it together, being more disciplined, staying away from stupid, silly, retaliatory uh, penalties, which is what San Jose has been trying to get this team to commit because, again, this San Jose team knows they cannot beat Vegas in straight-up hockey. So, listen, last night, boy, Evander Kane, he gets a game misconduct. He had two, uh, two game misconducts last night. We actually uh, had the over. That was our only play in hockey yesterday, and it fell short of the over. Vegas did their job scoring five goals. But man, I thought we'd get two at least out of uh, San Jose. I was looking for like a 5-2, 5-3 final. But when Marc-Andre Fleury is on his game and at his best, you're just not going to get it past him. And first two periods, he faced a ton of shots. And he turned them all aside. He was outstanding. And then the third period, uh, Vegas just clamped down, wouldn't let San Jose do anything on the offensive end. But, uh, again, that series play looking pretty good for us thus far. We'll hopefully wrap that up uh, on Thursday night in San Jose. Uh, we do have NHL action on Wednesday. And we'll look to get right back in the win column with an NHL power play for Wednesday. Again, that one also, just like the other plays, available on Wednesday morning over at DocSports.com. So, NHL. Major League Baseball, the big seven-unit play, first one of the season, and a six-unit play in the NBA as we look to continue our run, make it 4-0 this week and 23-8 and with the last 31. All right, let's get to our free pick for uh, Wednesday's card. We're going to turn to late NBA action on Wednesday. This obviously won't be our seven-unit play, uh, but we've got an opinion, a free pick on the Utah Jazz, plus 6.5 as we speak over the Houston Rockets. Game time about 9.35 p.m. Eastern, and listen, we know Houston won easily in game one. Blew them out. No problem start to finish for the most part. But these teams split uh, this season's four-game series, and each team won a game on their opponent's home floor. And what we liked before, what we saw last time out, maybe the last two times out, 
is that Utah has a way of throwing a wrench the way they play defense in the Houston system. Plus, also, don't forget that the Houston Rockets are one of the worst three, excuse me, one of the worst defenses when it comes to points in the paint allowed per game. And that's where Utah, when they're playing their game, thrives. So they've got exactly the kind of attack that Houston has had problems with all year. And as I mentioned, the four games between these two teams, each team won two games. Jazz come into this one on a 10-4 and four spread run on the road, and the road team in this series is now 6-2-1 and one in the last nine against the spread, even with uh, Utah's road loss against the spread the other night. Plus, uh, Utah, by the way, on a 20 wins, six losses, one push run against the spread off a straight-up loss. I think what they do best, being able to attack inside, and Houston having their problems with points allowed in the paint per game all season long is going to be what Utah uses to keep this game extra close tonight and inside that number of six and a half. So we look for the Jazz to hang the number in Houston on a Wednesday night. Our opinion, our free pick uh, for Wednesday's card. All right, listen, again, don't forget, you can get a free $60 account if you're not yet a member. Click on the link below the video to do that, and then use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Also, the plays again, uh, NHL Power Play. We've got Major League Baseball, first seven unit of the season, and NBA, six unit slam dunk, all available Wednesday morning, DocSports.com. And hey, if you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprintz or DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column, and I'll be right back here Thursday morning.